How's it going to talk for us TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my preview for the QPR match taking place at the Cayenne Prince Foundation Stadium, more commonly known as Loftus Road tonight. Um, yeah, I, I am filming this one quite close to um, to kickoff. Um, as I've, well, I'm not going to lie, I did forget yesterday and I've only just really got a chance to do it now. So yeah, um, I'm really interested to see how this one goes. Obviously a... <sighs> Not great result against Fulham. I didn't get to see the game, unfortunately. I was busy Sunday afternoon, which was a shame. But, um, you know, we apparently didn't deserve to lose 4-0. But that just shows the quality of clubs like Fulham in this league. You know, they, they've got a really a Premier League-style squad, to be honest with you. Um, a squad that is probably top three in the league. Um, you know, a really good squad that... that you can show, you know, they only need three, was it nine minutes to score three goals and put the game out of reach. So, you know, it, it, it just shows sort of, we're one of the, you know, better form teams in the league, one of the teams really pushing up there. But, you know, with a squad like Fulham, they, they do, they could just flick the switch and, and put three past you in nine minutes. When I say up there, I don't mean in terms of league standard, I mean in, in terms of just current form and, and, um, confidence and the like but no um i'm really feeling confident actually for tonight's game um i think it could be a really interesting one um i think that we'll do the business i've got a feeling it might be um might be sort of a 2-1 forest sort of scoreline um i am sort of expecting us to to um put goals past um qpr i think they're a team that um you know they're they're on a good run of form but um you know as we know about the um, the carabao cup they did fall um short against um Sunderland done spot kicks a horrendous offside decision um you know that that did stop them from claiming it in in normal time but um you know i think I think we we can we can target their tiredness from the cup. Sorry if I keep getting my hand in the way that I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, you know, um, but but no, they, they might be a bit more be a bit more tired from the cup. That sort of thing, a bit more drained maybe because they did get um, a decent way into a cup and 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 get, got knocked out on penalties. But um, <clears throat> I think. I think it's um, a good chance for us to to bounce back, regain our form, regain our momentum, and, and keep going. I think uh, two one could be the score, and like I'm saying, I think we, we're a team that uh, you know, obviously other than against Fulham, can score goals, can get forward, can attack. I don't think we'll keep a clean sheet against um, QPR. They've got some really good players, you know. Um, What's his name? Lyndon Dykes. They've got Ilias Chair, Charlie Adams. You know, uh, Charlie Adams, Charlie Adams, Charlie bloody Adams, Charlie Austin. Uh, you know, they, they, they've got they've got some some really decent players in there. You know, so they they can cause us a problem with no shadow of a doubt. But I think I think we'll do just enough to get over the line, get all three points, keep this brilliant brilliant winning streak away from home under Chris, Chris under Steve Cooper going. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think um no, I think it'll be a, a really, really interesting game and um you yeah, know, really interested to see sort of how Cooper bounces us back, how he's able to um get the squad to uh, all point back in the direction that we want to go, not let them dwell on that poor performance or poor results, should I say, and, and really look to, to bounce back and go again. Um, you know, I'm really, really excited to sort of see how this one pans out, how this one goes. We've got a good kind of record against QPR. Um, up until very recently, we had a really good home record spanning like... I don't know what it was, but it was definitely in the 1900s. Uh, well, 1900s. Well, it is 1900s. I don't mean like 1906 or whatever, but in the 1900s. So yeah, that's what it's called, 20th century. Um, you know, they they we had a, we had a really good run against them um, at home until I think it was um, was it under? Who was it under? It might have been under Sabri that we bottled it. Um, it might be. I'm trying to think. Or was it? Hewton. 
it wasn't Hewton because we beat them at home like three one or something. Anyway, it probably it was probably Sabri. Um, but no, um, we we usually have a a really good sort of runner, but we that that stopped. And hopefully we can keep that going. You know, last time we did play there, it wasn't the best of results at the start of um, last season. But the season before that, a four 0 win. Recently we've beaten them there five two. So you know, I think. I think um, they're, they're a club that we can beat and a club that I think we will beat. Um, you know, I'm really excited to sort of see how it goes. I think, like I say, 2-1 will be the score for me. I'm going to go with sort of... Um I'm going to go with Graben to score. I saw something on Twitter. He's, he's got like 36% um, shot to goal ratio, which is unbelievable. Like That is fantastic. Uh, the best in the league, which is surprising to say um, we're a very unattacking well actually really is it if we're defensive we didn't get many shots he doesn't have many shots to not put on target so I guess it's not that surprising to be honest but um, yeah it's really good to see um, I think um, yeah that's really really positive so I'm going to go with him to score and I'm going to go with I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with informed man at the right back position he did unfortunately score the own goal Um against um, Fulham. I'm going to go with the goal on the right end this time for Jed Spence. I'd love it if we could sign Jed Spence and Matt It would be incredible. But no, I'm really, really excited to see how this one goes. Can't wait to see the boys um, back in action again. Um, I think it could be a, a really, really interesting one and um, a brilliant game to bounce back against a team who have just sort of um, dropped out of the cup. They might not be feeling great, maybe licking their, licking their wounds a bit and we can come in there and, and compile the misery. So yeah, two on Forest could be my scoreline. Really, really can't wait for the game and um, hopefully we can bounce back with a nice victory. So yeah, if you did enjoy it, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and come on, you Reds.